Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can exploit cross-site scripting vulnerabilities to perform a count takeover. So let's get started. And before that, if you haven't checked out my previous videos in which I have shown you some of the ways to find and um, automate the process of cross-site scripting, then I recommend you to please check that out and let's get started for this video. And one more thing, if you want to practice account takeover vulnerabilities ethically, then I recommend you to check out our awesome labs based on real world scenarios in which you can perform account takeover vulnerabilities with ease and increase your bug bounty skills. So for example, let's say I want to head over to this lab number 5 and let's try to find a cross site scripting vulnerability over here and for the sake of demonstration, I am going to show you how we can exploit cross site scripting on this lab to perform account takeover. Now initially this lab is meant for account takeover vulnerabilities only but for the sake of this uh, demonstration I am going to exploit it through cross site scripting. Let's get started. So I know that there is a parameter in this uh, lab that allow us to pass our input value. For example if I type my name for example let's say I type B practical and if I hit enter as you can see the supplied input is reflecting as it is in the output right. So now to uh, find cross-site scripting vulnerability, what we need to do is we need to pass on some dangerous character which I have shown you in my previous videos in more detail and depth. So in this video, I am just going to show you how uh, we can exploit this cross-site scripting vulnerability. So I am just going to show you that this parameter is indeed vulnerable to XSS. So script alert and let's say one and script tag close and let's see what happens after that. And as you can see, we successfully got an alert pop up, which means that this parameter is indeed vulnerable, right? Now our goal is to escalate this vulnerability to perform a count takeover through cookie stealing. So I'm just going to click OK. And now you need to head over to your Ubuntu machine or Kali Linux machine. So as you can see, this is my Kali Linux machine over here. So what you need to do is you need to type some of the commands that I'm going to show you here. So the first command is apt install install snapd and you have to hit enter let's wait for a few seconds and after this installation completes what we need to do is we need to type something like this snap install ngrog and after that you have to hit enter and as you can see it is showing that ngrog is already installed because i already already installed ngrog in my machine but in your case it is going to take some time depending on your internet connection so once you have ngrog installed in your machine what you need to do is you need to head over to a new tab over here and you need to type ngrog.io let's wait for few seconds and as you can see this is the website and what you need to do is you need to create an account over here. So it's very simple. All you need to do is you just, you just need to head over to sign up functionality and you just need to create an account. In my case, I have already created my account. That is why I am directly redirected to my dashboard. And once you have created to the, uh, once you have created your account, you, you will be redirected to your dashboard as well. And in the dashboard, which, what you need to do is you need to copy this uh, code over here. So I'm just going to copy this and we need to paste it inside our Kali Linux machine. So we're just going to paste it as it is, hit enter and as you can see it is showing that auth token save to configuration file, right? Now the final thing that we need to do on the server is we need to type this command ngrock http and it. Perfect. As you can see, the command has started successfully and now our session is running fine, right? Now, what you need to do in the application, so the web application is here and we know that this parameter is vulnerable to cross-site scripting, right? Now, what we need to do is we just need to type something like this. So instead of uh, alert one, I'm going to type a simple uh, JavaScript code that is document dot write and here I'm going to specify an image tag, image src. And here you need to copy this link 
this HTTPS link and you need to paste it over here as it is after that you need to specify a forward slash and here you have to type dollar and inside this curly braces you have to type document dot cookie after that you need to type the greater than symbol and that's it now let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that let's wait for a few seconds just head back over here and as you can see we successfully got the cookie inside this parameter right which means that we were successfully able to steal the cookie from this application to our controlled server now again ngrock is not that good if you want to steal the cookies of any users but if you want to create a proof of concept that indeed we were able to uh, steal the cookies then it is a good tool that you can use and it is absolutely free so i hope you understood that how we can steal cookies by a cross site scripting vulnerability to perform account takeovers if you have any doubts if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching